Welcome back to Columbus, Ohio. It is time for the match we've all been waiting for. Our third seed, Believe the Hype, takes on your Halo Reach Fantasy Dream Team. Instinct is playing on our main stage. And guys, in all of the discussions we've had before this event, this is the one we've been hyping up. Why are you so excited for it? Well, Chris, we can't say it enough, and I'm going to always repeat myself. This is a god squad. You have Lunchbox and Roy joining with Ogre 2 and Pistola. Pistola and Roy alone, I think, with the random third and fourth, could probably place in the top six. They're that good. Yeah, and on top of that, we've got Believe the Hype, who in my mind is another one of the top three or top five Halo teams in the world. And it's going to be our first time we see the new Believe the Hype with Neighbor on the team as opposed to ABG. And on top of it, the first time in tournament play, we're going to be able to see Instinct. I mean, you said that that's the team everyone here is probably most excited about to watch. That's why this match is huge. The winner of this match, I wouldn't even say most likely to get out of Pool C because there's Cole Nate Ribbon <laughs> sitting right there. But, I mean, it's a huge match. It's going to be absolutely huge. This match will determine who is going to have the advantage moving forward. That's for sure. Remember, Believe the Hype was the only team to go undefeated in their pool, and they did it in the pool of death back in Dallas. Can they repeat, or will Instinct get off to a hot start? It's time to find out. Believe the Hype is taking on Instinct on our main stage, and let's meet our red team, BTH. player has stepped up and had the big game. Clutch does it all. I, he doesn't get enough credit. I'm just watching Clutch almost take over this game. The guy's been taking the best routes I've seen. He's going to get into a fight and a great headshot right there by Maniac. Yeah, he's got at least three or four killing sprees this game. And APG is right. Oh my, it's the headshot through his teammate. Hey, what's up, teammate? I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. Maniac sniping people with his teammate. Picked up the nose from any kill punch. I don't think there's any stop with this guy. Lenny leading three to two. Here we go. We got a, we got the flag moving with Believe the Hype. Clutch is about to ten. Season MVP Cloud is holding on to Rocket. He expected a player to be coming up that ramp. That second Rocket is perfect as he picks up the double. The tunnels there for Amish Acorns. Looks like he's going to back down. Double kill for Neighbor. Oh. There is the triple. 49 to 48. This one can go either way. APD! There you see the BTH squad. And I believe we have an interview with the man who loves to talk trash during the game. It's Neighbor. <laughs> Thanks, Bucket. I am here with Neighbor. So I opened up these questions to the Twitter community, and this is what came back for you, Neighbor. This is from at Tom Slim. He wants to know, what was the decision factor for teaming with Believe the Hype after placing second with the Combine Kids of Impact? Uh, one decision was these guys are all veteran players, and uh, I wanted to win, and I felt like with Impact, uh, we had a lucky tournament, kind of. Uh, we had a really easy pool if we beat FB, which we did. And um, I just felt that you know, with more experienced players, I could go farther in reach. And as a follow-up to that, at Nick Pelly wants to know, is this team a better fit than Impact was? Uh, it's, it's tough to say. I, I felt comfortable on Impact, but I feel comfortable on BTH. Um, you know, I, I've, I've known these guys for the last five years, and so I, I would say you know, I'm, I'm more comfortable with these guys for sure. Okay, and this last question comes from at PFAC, and he wants to know, you guys have been practicing a lot online, so do the four of you all share the same work ethic as far as practicing goes? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we, we try and get on every day, uh, practice for a few hours. The, the team actually came out to my house a uh, week before. We went to Chicago for a LAN, so we got a lot of good practice for this tournament. Fantastic. Sounds good. Good luck to you in the event. Chris Puckett, back up to you. Thanks, Julie. So, guys, neighbor joining Believe the Hype. They drop APG, who is just a pure slayer, always aggressive, as, as we saw in the earlier series. Tell me, what is going to be the different play style we're going to see out of Believe the Hype this event? Uh, I think we're going to see more of an objective-oriented play. Uh, Neighbor, although we all think of him as like a kind of main slayer, 
last tournament on Impact, he was the one running flags, he was the one arming the bombs. I mean, he brought a lot of other things to the team, and so I'm expecting to see them more objective-oriented, not just trying to slay the other team. I have to agree with him, but I'm expecting to see if Clutch can carry his record because he always dominates on Friday, and so does this Believe the Hype squad. I want to see if they can lose on Friday, if it is possible for Believe the Hype to lose on a Friday. Last time we saw BTH on the main stage, I believe Maniac dropped a running riot for us with a sniper and a rocket. And guys, I'm calling it now. I think Neighbor has potential to be the best objective player in all of Halo all time after seeing the way he was playing at the LAN. Look for him to be doing some awesome, sneaky, smart objective work. That's a pretty bold statement there, Chris. Pretty smart guy with great predictions. But guys, they're running up against the fan favorite for this event. They are taking on a team wearing blue. I don't expect to see that long. Nope. It's instinct. Let's meet the squad. Roy and Watchbox, probably the best duo players who have been playing together since 2007. Ogre 2, the winningest player in Halo history. Pistola is absolutely disgusting. He's going to be going off constantly during this tournament. He's going to be going on a loose game. Every time we watch the final boss, I'm always switching between like victory and experience. Oh. Flags down bottom middle, sniper in the hands of Roy here, it's time for him to shine. Roy, he has not stopped playing the console. With the top team, Roy's picking up huge shots right now. I expect this team to start heating up. Roy. Oh, Royal Launch Box, still the core of this team, but they have some new faces. They know how to handle the pressure. They're ready to go. All right, so there you are taking a look at Instinct. If I call him final boss, forgive me. Sitting on the main stage next to the winningest player of all time. He has four national championships under his belt. It's Julie with Ogre 2. Winningest player of all time, and for the first time, you are in green. Completely different. It's, it's a little weird. I, I'm adjusting. So again, these questions are from the Twitter community, so this is what they wanted to ask you. This is from Katie Element. Wants to know how it feels to give up the name Final Boss and now play under the name Instinct. Um, it wasn't really my choice, but uh, we did leave the Final Boss team and we joined Instinct technically. And, uh, you know, some rules weren't able to be shifted in our favor, so... Uh, we're playing as Instinct now, and it, it, it doesn't really matter that much to me, to be honest. I'm just trying to win, and uh, I think this is the squad to do it with. All right, and this one comes from at Tom Slim, and he wants to know what it's like playing with Roy Box, Roy and Lunchbox, after playing with your brother as a pair of twins for so long, for so many years. Uh, it's amazing. It's definitely an advantage. Uh, I feel like those two have perfect chemistry together, and I, I don't know if it's a twin thing or what, but just their awareness levels, they're just... It, it reminds me of Dan and myself, you know, it, it just definitely feels like we have almost an extra player on the, on the map. And speaking of chemistry, I want to know how you would describe the chemistry between the four of you now. The chemistry is great. Honestly, we've been clicking perfectly. We got a lot of practice and we were definitely, I feel, the most practiced team between last event and this event. And uh, everything's been going great so far. We went to a land and we went undefeated and uh, we're looking to win the tournament. Well, you guys just came off of a 3-0 sweep just a few minutes ago over Give Me My Money, so good luck going into this competition. We'll see you later. Twitter community, tweet to me your questions for the winner of this event at Julie Alexandria. Let me know who you want me to talk to and let me know the questions you want to know the answers to. Chris Bucket, see you in a minute. All right, thanks, Julie. And guys, hashtag MLG, Sundance wants it trending. Me too. Let's get it done. <laughs> Believe the hype, instinct, it's going down, and here in Pool C, this match is going to be huge. The winner of this one has a great chance of coming out into our winner's bracket semifinals, and it's time to get it started right now. It's going to be Capture the Flag on Warlock.
All right, so here we go. Believe the Hype taking on Instinct. We are getting this one started with Roy. And guys, Instinct has three of my top five players. Before last event, I had Roy and Lunchbox definitely in my top five. And I think Pistola is definitely the best player in the game right now. Agreed? Uh, that's, that's undoubtedly. I mean, he's the best player in the game. And they're the best players on this map. They went 9-0 at the LAN, and they beat Believe the Hype twice in it. In my mind, you've got Pistola at 1A and Roy at 1B. I mean, both those players are so good. They do everything. Literally, they are the best players in the game in my mind. And like you said, the third one would be Lunchbox. That guy is almost as good as his twin brother. Uh, did you guys see the flag cap in 30 seconds? Because uh, I did. Ogre 2 puts in the first flag of the game and just... 30 seconds, instinct coming out hot, guys. And, you know, Believe the Hype has a higher seed, but can we all agree that if BTH wins this one, they will continue the upsets here on the main stage? Yes, have to agree 100%. But Lunchbox is running another flag in. This is two flags in a minute. This team is the gods, but I'm so happy to see. And it took yep. Roy 58 seconds to die. We finally were able to change from his screen and go to Lunchbox, who's putting in flag number two. Chris, thoughts on the start of this game? I mean, I'm, I'm watching the BTH squad <laughs> right now, and it, it looks like the most frustrating game ever because no matter what they do, they're getting shot from almost every single angle. But right now, Neighbor getting a touch on that flag and starting a flag run of their own. And I know people on the forums are probably hating on me right now. Puckett, why are you so biased? This has been my dream team since the start of Halo 3. Actually, around the second year of Halo 3, when I saw these four players, I was like, what if they all team together? It would be like the second reincarnation of team domination. Believe the Hype has their hands full, but these guys are also 2009 national champions, and they have what it takes to beat this Instinct squad. Remember, at the LAN Network LAN right before this tournament, Great Rippin was taking games from Instinct. They are not invincible. And that's the truth, Chris. I mean, Believe the Hype has that spark. But when I was talking to Clutch before this tournament, he looked at me and he said, what if Instinct doesn't win to pull? Which means it's showing a sign of doubt and he expects to lose to them, which is not what you, the tournament mindset you want at all. The fact that there's a doubt that you say, what if they lose, doesn't show like you have that much hope. Yeah, I got to agree with that. That kind of comment is already almost admitting defeat and giving yourself an excuse to lose. But right now, Instinct showing why that they flank that incredible flag. Even though they put in the third flag, he is taking notes from Ace and he is running the flag with Camo. He, they weren't able to get a shot on him, so I think that is the key in this game type to do. You get the Camo and you run that flag. Yeah, we've seen it now, two series in a row. Camo running the flag, I guess. Take notes, everyone on the forums. This is what we're going to be doing now. This seems to be the pro way. And it works so well. It's so hard to get shots on that flag guy and stop it. Hey, guys, I think we should just go to listen in a lot during this series. Guys, remember, we are on Twitter all weekend long. We got our experience plays here up in the commentary booth. So hit me up with any comments, predictions, at MLG Puckett. Gandhi, give yours. MLG underscore Gandhi. Jack. And I'm at the shockwave with a three at the end. We're going to shut up and listen in with the Instinct Squad as we crank up our Astro 840s. They're weak, they're weak. Nice. Honestly, Arnie is weak. 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 Three one and all. I'm needing the flag. Two thought they have it. Watch out their flag, guys. One shot on their flag. Our flag is weak. I'm looking. Light him up. I got him. Nice help. On their flag, two guys on me. I need help. I have no On my lip. On my lip. And on their flag. Three flag guys. One shot. Three shots. I need. On me. On my board. I got him. A line. On their board. On their board. After our lip board. After our lip board. Their nades. I got another. Watch out. No two guys on me. Watch out, Jason. Watch out, their nades. Absolutely. Absolutely. Five camel guys. I'm going to try. I got one. I'm on the airport. I'm on the flag. I'm on the flag. He's dead. I'm running there. Watch it. Watch yellow. Buy me yellow. Yellow's weak. Watch out. I got him. Watch green now. He's still there. I'm running the long way. I'm running the airport. I ran a long way. I don't see him either, guys. Yeah, I'm already there. Watch out. Find you guys. Find up our lift in a second. Wake up our lift. I got him. I got a lift. Nice. Fucking go, baby.
All right, so there we go, right away, final, or excuse me, Instinct takes game number one. Guys, I just barely dodged that one. Roy starts it off with a killing spree, drops 15 kills in game number one. Ogre 2 behind him with 11. That was probably the fastest capture of the flag, Warlock, we are going to see all weekend long. Five minutes for five flags. Chris, have fun picking the MVP for this series, man. I can't wait to see who it am is. I, am I allowed to pick the entire Instinct squad? <laughs> Yeah, we can interview all four of them. Why not? I mean, it's looking like it right now. Team VP, but hey, don't cannot believe the hype yet. It's a best of five series, and game number two is coming up after this. Welcome back, guys. We had a slight technical problem, but it's all good now. We are ready for game number two. Instinct really living up to the name God Squad, but we'll see if they can continue their hot streak as we go into our Team Slayer Zealot game number two. Here we go, we're going to I Got Your Pistola to kick off game number two. Guys, last event, he had the most positive kill to death spread out of any player, but I think almost 96. The second place guy, I think, was either Enable or Snipe Down. Pistola dropped positive 214. Uh, I, think, I think more impressively, he was at a 1.4 to 4 kill death ratio. And he got 1.44 kills per death. That is absurd in Halo, especially in Halo Rich. And uh, what I want you guys to watch for when you're watching I Got Your Pistol, see how much damage he inflicts before being taken out. Even if he knows he's going to die, he's going to push out and land the melee right before being taken out. He's so incredible. There he got a kill and an assist with the same grenade shot. Six to five, though. Believe the Hype coming out strong. And I really like this game type of Believe the Hype. I think in the last game, we've talked about it. They need to put that behind them. And this is a game type they can be able to win, pull out, and get some momentum back. And I do want to make a quick correction. Sorry, I got some wrong information. Straight Rippin has already beaten Believe the Hype. So BTH really needs to win this series to have a chance of making it out of their pool. And we saw Straight Rip do a great job against uh, Instinct at the last land. I mean, those stats don't necessarily pertain to this, but Straight Rip took Instinct to 10 games in the final tournament. So right now, they're looking like the team that's going to be able to upset Instinct. But at the same time, right now, believe the hype, not far behind. I'd love to see what's going on with this BTH squad. There you see Neighbor doing a nice job. Three down here for Instinct. So BTH taking map control, and they're now up by five as we stay on board with Neighbor. We're actually going over to Clutch, and Scott, this is one of your favorite players in the entire venue. I love Clutch. There's just not enough I can say about him. He talks trash, he makes big plays. He's just an awesome guy to hang with, out with. He's a really down-to-earth player. And you know, you get that stuff out of him, you know? Potty mouth, but I mean, the guy's awesome. But the statement I want to make is if there's a game type that Instinct's going to lose, it is going to be the Team Slayers. They lost a lot of the Team Slayers because they started off with a huge lead and couldn't close. And it looks like they didn't even get a lead in this one, so Team Slayers are kind of iffy for them. Well, it's kind of funny. We've talked about the, the stats from the five-team land, and right now Zealot Slayer, FB going, or my, I'm sorry, Instinct going six and three, Believe the Hype going one and eight which means so far what we've talked about, it, it means that right now Believe the Hype has the advantage somehow. I mean, it seems that those stats always are wrong right now in the tournament. And if you guys are keeping a track on the forums for us, I believe that is now 1.5 FB slips. <laughs> I'm guessing we're getting at least was 12 before the end Did of the I say weekend. FB? No, it was Chris. Oh, well, we're good. 
all, all, all good. We're going to keep getting that wrong, but hey, we'll learn it eventually as Instinct becomes the next dynasty here at MLG. Just an early prediction. 26 to 25, though, it's a very tight game. Believe the hype, losing that seven kill lead as it looks like Instinct is going to take the lead now, 28 to 26. And Pistola is going to pick up that grenade launcher. Perfect shot there, helping Neighbor pick up the, or helping Ogre 2 pick up the kill on Neighbor. I don't understand how he doesn't kill his teammate there, and now he's going to get one kill. Wasn't there another guy down there? Now okay, well, he got one, and now he's going to lay down shots. He does inflict so much damage on the other team. I'm so glad you pointed it out because it's such a vital part of Pistola's game. This is so fun watching Halo right now. <laughs> I got my eyes on Roy's screen. He just had the killing spree, picked up the double kill as well. He's positioned top, middle, but he's getting all kinds of help from the perimeter. You got Pistola who's going to run bottom, then he's going to run around the sides. Lunchbox and Ogre 2 are really being guys doing the support role. They're locking down the positions. Yeah, believe the hype was in this game in the beginning, but when they were in this game, they were controlling the power weapons. They were keeping it out of Final Boss's hands. But it seems as soon as I... Or, oh, God. Instinct. 2 .5. I keep... <laughs> gonna keep doing it. I'm sorry. But they, as soon as Instinct got those weapons, they went on literally a 10 to 0 run on this on this Believe the Hype squad. Believe the Hype has any chance. They need to get these weapons. We got Lunchbox position top gold. He was weak. Roy comes over immediately to help him out. 41 to 29, make it 42 to 29 there after another snipe from Lunchbox. All four players from Instinct really clicking here. They are showing their strength in this game number two, and they are keeping the pressure on BTH here. Neighbor getting away. Roy making one of his few mistakes just an inch away from connecting with that back smack. But if we can, let's get our camera over to I Got Your Pistol or Ogre 2. There's Ogre 2 on your screen. Both of these guys just won some huge individual battles, and both of their DMRs are on fire. Talk about such an even team. No one player standing out. Is the, it is the entire team. It's so impressive. I, I'd love watching this team. All right, we are done talking about our love for Instinct. You guys, we'll let you talk about it on the forums. 46 to 39 here as I Got Your Pistola is going here on the flank. He's got injured neighbor in front of him, getting the kill before being taken out. Roy laying down some heavy fire from across the map, and he's got Lunchbox and Ogre 2 with him here as they're trying to push up the spiral. Roy hits the headshot before Cloud and gets the melee off. That's going to make it an easy one shot for I Got Your Pistola. He's going to clean that one up for 49. And now they're looking for 50. And check out the instinct swarm. You got three players all running together. Roy getting a new angle. Lunchbox calling him out under the, base, under the base and connects with the grenades. Instinct now up 2-0 to zero over Believe the Hype. And they are not looking back. After a slow start, they really turned it on there. And each player, as you mentioned, Scott, taking turns to do the damage. When we get a chance, I'd love to check out their stats here. Check out that spread you got. I got your Pistola with five assists. Five assists from Roy, four assists from Ogre 2, and Launchbox has six. And three of the four players going positive. Yeah, big game again by Roy. Even though their team has seemed to be very even throughout, Roy's been putting up the big numbers for Instinct. But like we said, all across the board, they just seem to be dominating. They're, they look to be on almost another level right now. Well, you know what? Believe the Hype has a game type that is in their favor coming up next. They were 3-0 and on Assault Zealot. Let's see if they can put up a point on the scoreboard after this commercial break.
sniper in the hands of Roy here. It's time for him to shine. At the win, compete with the top team. Roy picking up huge shots. All right, so there you see the scoreboard. Instinct is up 2-0 to zero over Believe the Hype. Our players are back from a quick break. And now it is time for game number three. We are headed to Assault on Zealot. All right, here we go. We're getting it started. Assault on Zealot, and we're kicking this one off with the hometown hero. It is Ogre 2, who grew up with me just about 10 minutes away from here in Pickerington, Ohio. Yeah, they call it Ogre City here in Columbus. Obviously, it's not his brother doesn't play anymore, but he's in his hometown. He's got to be feeling comfortable. I saw his guest list, 25 people from his hometown coming to check this one out. You know he's got some fans in the crowd. But guys, let's talk about the game here already. We see Lunchbox inside the BTH base with that bomb. He's arming it already. All four members alive. Pistola's got a sniper. Roy's got the grenade launcher. And they have great protection from top middle. And guess what's the best part about this Inkston setup? They're watching the landing, so it's a guaranteed bomb arm pretty much. Uh, not necessarily. Clutch actually coming up Did he? huge. Wow. Getting, killing, or All at right. least shooting Lunchbox and scaring him away from that bomb arm. You were and so now, proud of yourself. <laughs> I was. <laughs> so awesome. proud. Big play by Cloud. Uh, thank you, Believe the Hype, for knocking Scott down a peg. Here we got Cloud on your screen right now, going up against two players, doing some nice damage. I got your pistol, oh. and I love that challenge there. Great confidence, even though they're down 2-0. to zero, He knows that they can hang with his instinct squad, pushing out, taking out. I got your pistol. Meanwhile, you got Neighbor trying to stay alive, top goal. But the instinct teamwork was just too much there. When we get a chance, I'd love to go back to Ogre 2. Roy's going to bring in the bomb, and Ogre 2 is going to clear the way with this sniper rifle. And so many arms in Zealot Bomb come from this exact type of setup, getting control of the landing and then bringing the bomb in from the landing. I mean, I feel like we keep repeating ourselves during this game, but it just is flat out the best way to arm it. Three down there for BTH, as it looks like Instinct is going to get the bomb plan. It's in the hands of Pistola. The bomb is down. It does not actually arm fully. They stop it at 99%. So once again, BTH coming up clutch, coming off their spawn and getting the bomb out of their base. What an incredible play by Ogre 2. For a second, I thought he missed the sniper, but he had the very first sniper that dropped, and he was able to run over it and pick up the ammo. Great play, but he should have stayed alive there. Ogre 2 just getting a little confident here. There's only so much you can do. I mean, he had to drop down, and the Believe the Hype Squad knew exactly where he was, took him out. But right now, I love the, the resiliency of Believe the Hype. You can see they're not backing down right there. They know this isn't necessarily their best game type. And as we saw on the graphic, this is instincts, what they claim is their best game type. Right now, I believe the hype playing some great defense. They got to get the bomb into the instinct base, though. Yeah, last event, instinct was three and one in Dallas on this game type, but that was with T Squared and Tots on the squad. Now they got Pistol and Ogre too, and these guys looked incredible at the land on this game type as well, Scott. They were seven and one. Chris in this game type on this map. Uh, they just execute very effectively, and I'm assuming that once Pistola starts getting a little heated up on this map with the sniper, we're gonna see some big plays out of him. Now we have been raving about Instinct this whole team whole time, but we have to give big props to believe the hype. They've gotten the bomb out of their base with two great defensive plays, and now they're starting to control the power weapons, which they were, they were doing at the start of game number two. Exactly. Neighbor doing a great job controlling the tube, which in my mind is actually the most important weapon on this map. And right now, arming the bomb, they're going to be striking first. I, I don't think any of us thought about this was going to happen. He's going clutch, getting the double kill, stopping both Roy and Ogre 2. There is the bomb plant, and BTH is the first on the board. Remember, we're going to three. They're a third of the way there. You got Maniac on your screen now, trying to stay alive as Instinct is coming off the respawn. And I love the way he ran to the flat, 
to get his teammates to spawn up next to him. Great job, I believe the hype showing some life. I'm extremely impressed they, that, that they didn't lay down and die. And that's actually something I talked about before the event on my pool play preview show, was BTH's communication. These guys always seem to get down on themselves and then just fall apart. But when they're doing well, they all talk really positively, they get each other pumped up, and they perform even better. I'd love to go to an Astro Listen In with this BTH squad. I want to see where are their heads at, how's the communication rolling, are they positive, or are they getting down on themselves? Our bridge, our bridge. Our bridge, our bridge. Our landing. Our landing, two. I'm getting ring one, I'm getting ring one. Our landing, weak, so. No shield top up, it's stolen. No shield top up, it's stolen. Our bridge, our bridge. Our bridge, our bridge. Our bridge, our bridge. Our bridge, our bridge. Bombs dead. Lift their lane. Lift ours. Our lane is landing. Nice. Two dead. Two on bombs. That's two. Our street charging. Our charge drop. Drop. Our lane. Our lane is still west. Our flag. Our street. Watch out for our base. Watch out for our base. Our street still. Two dead. I got him. Our street. Ring two. Ring two. Ring two weak. Boy. Our lane kill me. Our lane kill me. Yeah. Main up to our health, Mason. Top code. Top code. Top code. Our side. Don't shoot top code. Tuger. He's the middle goal. And our lane. Our lane. Watch out. That's guy's got it. That's guy's got it. That's guy's got it. I got a pistol. I got a pistol. Someone's got to throw it out. Watch out, pointing gold. Top code. Let's shoot. Watch out. I'm pointing gold. I'll need it. I'll need it. Our health. 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 I'm dropping. I'm you lifting our landing. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I need a bomb, I need a bomb. I need a bomb, I need a bomb. Our pistol, our pistol. Uh, ring one, ring two, our guys. Pistol. Two dead. Two dead. Ring two, our pistol. He's our flag. Don't shoot in front of us. Two dead again, two dead again. Two dead again. Last two just spawned. Last two just spawned. I got bomb. The flag, the flag went straight, they're going straight right now. Yeah, to the street, Soul's got shot on the middle. They're stuck on the street. Lift up the landing, I'm with you. Stuck on the street, guys. I'm, I'm lifting the landing, we both lift the landing. Okay. Okay. Depression, I'm getting shot from our landing. Our landing, we lift our landing. Their flag behind you. Their shield, their shield top gold, launch. Their shield, our side top gold. Weapons it up, guys. Where's the bomb? Bomb three top gold, our landing. Yeah, sniper top gold, don't get sniped. Top of weeks, like me. Top of our side. Bomb's moving in now. I got base. I got base. I got base. I'm landing weak. Our tunnel. Bottom in there. Aim him, there's a guy. I got him. I got him. I got him. I got Our health back. Our health back. I'm landing with sniper. No shields. Bomb. Our street. Our health back. There's a guy in our flag. We're going to have a sniper. Push in front. One more shot. I got one. One more shot. You guys just find one more shot. Other one more shot. Other one more shot. I got it. I got it. All right, nice. Three dead. I jump gold. Tom. Top gold. Tom. He's got a sniper. I'm going, Tom. Nice. 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 Nice! Oh, Let's go, one! Bottom in here! There's two guys on me, bottom in here! Landing two! Our front jump! Our front jump and the flag! He's dead, two dead, two dead, bottom in here! Red landing, red landing! Red landing! I'm looking at one! Nice! Armin, 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 someone! I'm going! Go for it, two dead! I'm going! I have a front jump! I have a ball right now! There's two guys on me, I need help! We want to have time. I'm looking, I'm looking. Give me the flag, guys. Give me the flag, guys. I'm coming to the spiral. Fire, I'm coming to On their bridge, guys. The bridge got shot. Two on two. Back it up. Two shots to help back neighbor. I'm pushing up there. Stay on. Main room. Main room. On their hall, their hall. And their hall. I'll back. I got the hall. Two dead. Push up. Under the spiral. Under the spiral. Talking to you, Bob. Sitting there. I got it. Two guys are helped. Maniacs, three shots. They're both weak as fuck. I'm under the action. I'm under the action. They're all guys. Top center, top center. Top center. Help. Top goal, weak. Top goal, weak. Top center, guys. Ask the damage. Wait, wait, wait. I'm watching this. He's weak now. He's got two more shots. He's alive. One, two. That's all you should have got. Give us one shot. I'm through bottom meter. That's it. Bottom meter. He's on top meter. Our front jump. Our front jump right now. Our front jump right now. He's still in that goal. One shot. One shot. Our front jump. Two more shots. After the one. Dude, two guys. Where are we? They have two guys. After the three. After the three. I need our help. I need our help. After the three. Last guy. Run the bomb. I have bomb. I got him. I got him. I got two guys. Push up someone. Push up. We got to get someone landing. Under the base, guys. After the three. I got him. Run it in, Tom. Under the base. 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 Under the base.
Come in, there's one. Fight one, I need help. Watch your fight, Bottom here, Tom, you're gonna get finished. Bottom main ramp, bottom main ramp. Bottom main ramp. Bottom main ramp. Bottom main ramp. On their health back, guys. After their help. Watch out their health back. Landing, landing, landing. Weak landing, last guy. Weak landing, last guy. Arm that if you can. Stay alive. I'm here. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, 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 I got him too, watch out, we're Find him, push him, push him! The bridge, guys, he's sitting there. Guys, push him. He's weak, he's three shots. Absolute the bridge. Absolute the bridge. Bottom maniac, one shot. Stay alive. Everyone hide. Everyone hide. He's gonna be behind. Final maniac, one hit, it's two there. We won, guys, we're gonna win red. I got him. We're leading, one shot. Absolute the bridge. Don't do it, one shot. I got him. One shot, guys. I'm gonna get him. Melee! Melee! Nice! Four left, four left! One spot. Sorry, just sorry. All right, we are back in, guys. We saw Instinct finally get that second plant to retake the lead here in game number three. Tell me, what have we seen up to this point in the last 10 minutes? Well, minus the fact that uh, Instinct's able to bounce back, I've just been so mind blown by this communication. If you guys are looking to sound, see what you should be like as a teammate, definitely watch this Instinct squad because they're so incredible at communicating. Every little thing is set from a one shot you're, he's a one shot. Where are the bombs at? It's incredible. It's non stop talking. Yeah, I'm loving, even though Believe Life is losing. Oh my God, Roy. Just don't even. Oh, I <laughs> just look. watch and enjoy. From what I've seen, though, I do like the resiliency here of Believe the Hype. I feel like Instinct's gotten some good opportunities, but it's not like Believe the Hype's been lying down either. Believe the Hype's a good team, watching them individually skilled. They definitely can compete with Instinct. But right now, it just seems the teamwork and instinct is just on point. Instinct doing everything right, it seems. Roy was on that frenzy, 10 kills without dying. Now you're seeing Pistol do work as he makes his move to the middle of the map. And I just love the way that these guys bait and switch or run in pairs. They're just always out teamworking BTH. And you feel bad for BTH because they're just coming off the spawn. They're shooting really well, but they're just getting overwhelmed. Exactly. I'm, I mean, I'm watching the Believe the Hype. And when it gets to a one-on-one -on -one fight, the Believe the Hype is right there with them. In fact, I've been watching Maniac win almost every single one-on-one -on -one fight he's getting into. It's just the, the fact that they are baiting and switching so well. But I do think Believe the Hype has a chance in this game. It's just they need to start getting more positive. They need to really just kind of forget about what has happened so far in, in the series. 18.30 left on the clock. That really means about three minutes and 20 seconds now of regulation time before this one is called Instinct with the two to one lead. Believe the hype just down by one. If they can get four dead or control of the power weapons, I think they could definitely make a push here. I'm seeing strong play out of Clutch and Maniac. Clutch just picked up the double. Maniac trying to protect that bomb right now. When we get a chance, I'd love to go back over to the red team. If they lose this game, they're going to be down 0-2 in their pool. That's exactly what Believe the Hype does not want to be. You don't want to, because then you're guaranteed only top 16, assuming you beat the other two teams in your pool. And that's exactly where BTH doesn't want to be, because that loser's bracket is going to be absolutely stacked. Maniac making his way up top. He's got the evade, trying to get away from a player, but just as he started going one way, saw another one cutting him off. Instinct just seems to be everywhere. These guys are sprinting like crazy. The bomb is down. It looks like Cloud, or Cloud trying to do some damage on players up top, trying to defend his base, but Ogre 2 is just raining fire, pushing in on BTH. Two to one here, 17-17 left on the clock. Chris, what are you seeing over there from the BTH squad? I know you have your eyes glued on the red team. Yeah, well, the thing about the BTH squad is one of, one of the plays I saw, Neighbor, instead of trying to DMR a guy and getting in a one-on -one fight, he brought out his sniper rifle and tried to no-scope him from up close. I don't know if that's a sign of just not confidence in his DMR or a sign that he knows that he's got to kill the instant guy as fast as possible. But honestly, right now, Blue Light really needs to try to get their confidence level back. They're right in this in skill level. And their, their shots and stuff, they just need to start getting their teamwork on point. Well, believe the hype's in the right position. I mean, Cloud just did an excellent job sitting top middle, and now he's going to be pushing the bomb in. Maniac's got the sniper on the landing, and final boss is on the respawn. If they can get Clutch to come off the spawn and push Grenade Launcher, they have an excellent chance to get this plan. 
But as soon as you say that, believe the hype, three members go down from the baiting and switching of Instinct. All four members down now with Instinct running the bomb into the, into the Believe the Squad base. All right, we got a minute and 10 seconds left. Instinct planning this. If they win, I will be interviewing Roy here in the studio after the match. So send me your questions to at MLG Puckett. If it's good enough, I'll read it on the stream. Pistola gets the plant there, protecting it. Five more seconds. A double kill from Ogre 2. He gets the triple just as the bomb explodes, and Instinct is going to sweep BTH 3 to 0. Great show of sportsmanship from both teams. BTH has to be disappointed, but Instinct feeling ecstatic after this one. And I think everyone at home is saying to their best friend, I told you so, man. <laughs> I, I mean, that was, it's a safe bid. I mean, I'm just glad to see this team finally come out and perform the way we expect a team. When a team comes in so hyped, sometimes they don't live up to the name, but it seems that Instinct's going to definitely live up to the name. But hats off to believe the hype. I mean. Instinct's clearly a hot team coming in here, but Believe the Pie Hype's one of those teams that will benefit from going through the loser's bracket. They like making the road tough on themselves. Well, I think Believe the Hype is a team that likes to get on fire and then continue momentum. They're a team where as soon as they start winning matches, they're going to be really tough to stop. Unfortunately, they ran into Instinct right here. Instinct playing on point. They they're looked almost unstoppable. But I mean, I could see Believe the Hype, they're a great team. They could get into the loser's bracket, get a few quick matches against some of the amateur teams, and just make a run themselves, maybe all the way back up to the winner's bracket, or loser's bracket finals and the finals. I mean, I don't think they're done yet. Definitely a top caliber team, BTH. Guys, remember, we have Warriors and Invictus, or Warriors and Victoria's Secret, excuse me, name change. They will be playing on the main stage next. And at the end of the night, it's your community match. You guys voted for it. Dynasty will be playing Capital Punishment. And Dynasty looks so strong in their comeback versus SQ. Stay tuned with us all night long. Coming up next, though, I get a chance to sit down with Roy and talk about how pumped he is to be playing with Ogre 2 and I Got Your Pistola. We'll be back. The Major League Gaming Pro Circuit is brought to you by Hot Pockets, NOS Energy Drink, the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play, and Stride Gum, 